guess who made it to the final round of the Sephora Squad 2023? We did. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for those of you who left me a testimonial. And so after I applied for the Sephora Squad, like I experienced like a really bad case of like imposter syndrome. Like, why are you on this list, Octavia? Why did you apply? You're not a beauty guru. Like that negative like self-talk moment. And I really had to snap myself out of that like thinking because no. We're not going to be afraid of taking chances. That is not who we are. That is not what we do. I'm only in the final round and whether or not I make it to the squad, you know, officially or not, I am so happy that I took a chance on myself. Yeah, you are currently, you know, on the fence about something. It could be starting your creator journey, but you're afraid of what your friends and family might think. Or it's uploading your first YouTube video and you're just terrified. Whatever the case may be, I'm just kind of like talking from experience here. Of all the chances I took on myself, I just do it. I promise you, each time you take a chance on yourself, you're just gonna be, become braver and braver. I will never forget when I started my own YouTube channel. People laughed and said how cringy I was. But look at us, we cringed our way to the Sephora squad. <laughs> Finalist round. I'm gonna not show off right now. I'm just proud of myself because it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to hear all those things. I cried many nights over those comments and I always just tried to push through. Whether you have the support of friends or family or not, because you know what? You're gonna attract a tribe on like anything else you will ever imagine in this world. The same way how I attracted you guys. You guys motivate me in so many ways and inspire me. And look what you guys did. You have completely changed my life. And I'm a Bali Bali Cancer, so I'm not gonna really talk too much because I don't want to be one of those people crying on the internet. But I just want you guys to know, like, I'm just, you know, the support just means so much to me. My love language is acts of service. So the fact that you guys took time out of your day to literally leave a testimonial, you don't even understand <laughs> how, like, touched I am. So yeah, no worry about what anyone has to say. You focus on you and you do your part. Put in the work, be consistent, and things will fall into place. Quit all that negative self-talk. Always remember that you are a good body, clean skin gal. And I just wanna thank you guys for the support again. I love you guys so, so much. back to another video so today we're adding um panels to this wall just to kind of add a little dimension because it's pretty flat um since we painted it with white these are the outlines of what the you know the panels are going to look like and we're just trying to do this ahead of um the sofa delivery which will be tomorrow quick outfit of the day i'm wearing this tank top from h and I took a very simple tank, but it just has like the black um, outline. I also have the black version with the white outline. I got, I just got two because I really liked it. And I'm just wearing my cargo pants in black. These are from Zara. I shared these with you when I first bought them. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit for today for a little work at home. Oh, I also added two pictures to this wall. This is not what it's gonna look like. I bought these at Target uh, not too long ago, like maybe like a day ago. Um, I really love the neutral aesthetic of this one, like the neutral like landscapey vibe. And then this one was at Target also. And let me show it to you. It's like a vintage style painting with a father and son like praying. Isn't it so cute? So once we get a sideboard slash buffet for the dining room, I think I'm gonna put this like over it. I really like the vibe of this. Like I really, really like it. But I just have them up here for now um, because I just wanted, wanted to see how they would look against like the wall, I guess. And they've just been up here ever since. But I'm gonna get started on cleaning up the dining room table because I've been using this as like my office the past few days um, and it's just a mess and I just don't like it looking like this. So I'm gonna just pack this stuff up, bring upstairs to my actual work desk. 
desk and then we can just get into some other organizational things because oh everything's a mess everything's a mess everything's a mess now upstairs and I am PMSing so hard right now. I just want to lay in bed and just watch Bravo TV to be honest. Um, but I'm just gonna finish up like just organizing some stuff. I really want to wash my makeup brushes because every single time I do my makeup I'm just cringing at the fact that these dirty brushes are touching my face. So I just want to wash my makeup brushes and get my makeup into like my little makeup cart that I bought from Ikea because I do love having my makeup in a cart because I can just bring it wherever I want to do my makeup that day because I change my mind. I don't always want to stand. Sometimes I want to sit and sometimes I want to like be in front of the TV. Like, you know what I mean? So the cart makes that easy. So yeah, let's wash my makeup brushes, clean up my makeup and put them in the cart.
So I'm back at Home Depot because I wanted to find the exact um, molding I used for the wall. Okay, I think we're close. So I like to go by the patterns like on the thing here. Okay, this is not it. Where is it? So as you guys can see, they have like various like designs like, like square, but the one I used was this one. All right, see here, this is what it looks like. And based on the design you choose to go with, you're gonna need to measure to make sure that you have the right lens. I can't get through. Now I'm just cutting this for content, you know, but I didn't do this project at all. My man did, he's so handy and I'm so grateful because this project basically cost us nothing because he can just do it all and I love that. So after we got home, he just like measured it out and just attached it to the wall that he like filled it in and like painted it. I don't know, I'm just here to get the content and it looks so beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. It just completely just elevated the space, like it looks so expensive now. And I decided to pick up some paint because I was thinking of painting the wall, you know? I thought that might look good, look good, but let me know what you think of these colors. I'm definitely feeling them a lot, especially that sage. Sitting room reveal. So I just posted this on my page, like just like the before and after. And although the room is not yet finished, I just want to share with you guys the piece that we have so far in here because I'm just obsessed. Obsessed. First thing we did was add like little molding or panels to the wall. It gave this room such a facelift, okay? That wall was just white and flat and I was just thinking about what to do to it and I saw this idea on Pinterest and I'm obsessed with it. It looks so nice. The room feels and looks so expensive and if you have a wall in your house that you feel like you want to get creative with, like do it. It was such an easy project, although I didn't even touch one thing, but it looked easy. It wasn't that difficult. Just a lot of cutting and stuff, but next thing we did was add a sofa to the room. And I know you guys are so shocked by the, the green because I'm definitely a white sofa girl, but I decided to go with green because it isn't it so like, elegant, so posh, so rich. I just, I love the sofa so much. It's from West Elm. I believe it was called the Weston. I just love the shade of green so much. Um, it's just a really sexy color, I like to say. and. It just adds a, like, a nice warmth to the room and I just feel like this reminds me of like the kind of couch you find like your grandmother's house, which isn't a bad thing. You know, when you go to your grandma's house, it's always giving comfort, it's giving love, it's giving warmth and that's what I really wanted this to be because this room is right near to the entrance so it's kind of like the room that you see when you walk in and I just feel like the vibe. My feet are kind of ashy. <laughs> Pardon me. 